All right, Jerry, so I know you've been part of the organization for several years now. Not a newcomer to this event. How important is this night for the Los Angeles Foundation to celebrate all their work in the community? I mean, they do tremendous work in the community. It's a great night for the Dodger players, uh, Dodger fans, uh, the alumni, uh, contributors to the foundation as well. They do incredible work uh, here in the city uh, uh, of Los Angeles. So to be able to celebrate the uh, Dodgers Foundation tonight, epic night, uh, it gets bigger and bigger every year. I know there's obviously a fundraising component to it, but it's also a bit of fun for the players. They get to get dressed up, and the night ends with an Usher concert. Do you have any favorite Usher songs? Uh, nice and slow. He better play that. Uh, and I know he did it with Ludacris uh, and Lil John, but yeah, yeah, I used to love that song. So uh, I hope he plays that. But again, you know, it's a great night for the Dodger players to unwind. Really, a great night for the Dodger wives too, uh, for them to kind of. You know, they come to, to so many games, uh, support their husbands, and also the girlfriends support their, their, their boyfriends. So it's a good night for couples to enjoy uh, a night, and, and it's for charity. Yeah. All right, last one. If you need to pick a player from the current team to win a dance battle against Usher, who are you going with and why? A dance battle, I'm going with Mookie Betts. Mookie definitely has style. He has rhythm. I'm hoping Usher does uh, call up Mookie Betts so they can dance on stage together. We're here at this event. Obviously, it's a celebration party for LA, they're calling it. What can you say about all the work the foundation does and giving back to the community and just growing the sport and helping level the playing field? Yeah, I mean, honestly, everything that the Dodgers Foundation has done, they they love that they do so much work for the children from the ground up. I mean, the way they create opportunities, whether it's on the field, off of the field, just seeing that there's so many opportunities within sports, it's incredibly special. So. This tonight is just another celebration, a way to raise some money for incredible resources to make sure that people have the opportunity that they need. Uh, whether, like I said, that's on the field or off the field, this is really just one step in so much work that the foundation does. So it's an honor and a privilege to be here. So this is where the fun is. I know it's, it's a little bit different for the players to have to get dressed up. Did you hear them talking in the clubhouse about, you know, maybe stressed out about what to wear and all that? Did you give them any advice? I always say make sure that your suit is fitted. That is my number one thing. Everyone needs a properly tailored suit. Suit. The guys love this though. I mean, this year, I think of all years, our team is probably extremely fashionable or way more than in years past. So they love this moment. They're here for it. And everyone got their haircuts. And today, everyone looks absolutely stunning. And their wives, uh, I just, this, it's so much fun just to kind of see them in a different light. This actually is what they love, I think. Yes, they love playing baseball and all of that. But they love to get dressed up and have fun as well. So it's always nice to be able to see that side of the players as well. I know you're a big Usher fan. What songs are you hoping? Hoping he's going to perform tonight. Okay, I've got two. I need to see uh, Here Superstar. That's my absolute favorite song. And Bad Girl is also just incredible. That's the vibe I feel today. That's how I'm feeling. <laughs> Last one for you. If you needed to pick one player to win a dance battle against Usher, who are you going with and why? Ooh, a dance battle? I don't know if I've seen them dance before. Uh... Miguel Rojas has been the heavy favorite. No, no. Yancy Almonte. That's going to be my vote. Him? Nope. I lied. Mookie Betts. Because Mookie's entire family can dance, which means that he can dance. That's my theory. And they, like, are, they're so much fun, and they do the line dances, so Mookie knows how to dance. That's my, I have no doubt about that. Thank you so much.